Excellencies, dear friends of, of the Turkic world and Central Asia, but also Anatolia. So welcome uh, to the Turkish uh, permanent delegation uh, to the European Union. Today I was really happy, I am really delighted to host this uh, reception among friends in honor of the Secretary General of the Organization of the Turkish States. So, this organization has been, was created uh, three, dec three decades ago. It was based on cooperation. It is not as fast as the EU. We are not still talking about inter integration or internal market, but our uh, cooperation uh, has, you know, led to some sort of full-fledged organization. And today we are proud that we have eight member states, uh, five full members and three observer members and we are talking about 150 million Turkics people including the Turks uh, and the Turks and Turkic citizens are not only confined to Asia, Central Asia but they also live in Anatolia, they live in Ukraine, they live in the Balkans, they live in Europe, the biggest one being Turkey with 84 million. Mm -hmm. uh, let me also underline this. And uh, of course, this organization is a heavyweight in the World League. We are talking about 1 trillion euro of GDP. And again, we are talking about 800 billion euros of uh, trade volume with the rest of the world. So uh, I think uh, Central Asia, the Turkic world, is important, and especially it is, it is important for, for Europe uh, in terms of connectivity, transport, energy, but also peace and stability. So this is why we have encouraged uh, the, orga the organization of the Turkic states to be more present in Brussels and to develop you know, much better and structured relation uh, with the Turkic world and with the organization of the Turkic state. So I am I'm really happy that the Secretary General is among us today. And also let me uh, thank uh, especially our Uzbek presidency who hosted a kind lunch today. Thank you very much, Ambassador. But also let me thank uh, our Hungarian colleagues, our, our Hungarian friends, they also contributed to this, to this evening with the colorful rings. So we do appreciate also uh, your color uh, in, in this Turkish Turkic, uh, evening uh, tonight. So tonight, of course, we have different friends among us. We have people from the European Parliament. We have people from the EU's Foreign Ministry, which we call the European External Action Service. We have people from the European Commission, but also from the European Council. In addition, we have also European Investment Bank, uh, which can be actually uh, a good interlocutor in terms of future development of the Turkey Investment Fund, which was recently established. I think it would be a good match to invest, uh, I think, in the most efficient way uh, in the Turkey world. And of course, the organization has a region for 240. The strategic document uh, gives a lot of homework to the member states, and I hope we will fulfill uh, you know, our commitments uh, to make the Turkic world better integrated with the rest of the world, but also increase the welfare, increase the connectivity among our nations, among our countries. And uh, I'm sure. I think I should stop here, Secretary General, because this is your night, this is your evening. So let me uh, give you the floor and maybe to address uh, our friends few words. And thank you very much for accepting our invitation uh, to come here to meet our friends from different institutions of the EU, but also uh, from, from the core diplomatic and also from think tank and from the media world. Thank you. Thank you. Not thank to you. forget the business world.
Yeah, Excellencies and the distinguished member of diplomatic mission, ladies and gentlemen, and the, first of all, let me express my gratitude to for hosting us today is for the ambassador, our friend, brother, Ambassador Kaimakchi, yeah, we before worked together in Ankara, last time I was ambassador of Kyrgyzstan, he was deputy minister, now he's way in Brussels, so it's also I would like to thank you to all our member states, uh, head of uh, diplomatic mission and the guest yes, ambassador mentioned Today we have uh, working lunch hosting by our ambassador, is, uh, is Uzbek president now. Is, uh, also thank you. Uh, thank you to all of you for coming today. Join us in the... Yeah, after speech of Ambassador Kaimakchi, he wrote some, uh, giving some figures, some more details, but uh, also I would like to pay your attention for some. As a matter, uh, is, uh, you know, the fact today is our Secretary General, I, you know, they not surprised me that someone is first to the Secretary General come to Brussels to visit what we need to new institution to meet these uh, new officials. So it's also uh, to, is needed a testament to the growing political role that the OTS assumes in the it is region and the on, on the international stage. In my uh, turn, I am committed to lay the solid foundation to OTAU relations and the, to create prosperity cooperation with various bodies of the EU. I am uh, pleased that the EU institution maintains strong relations with all of our member states. And I am truly delighted that so many of you are here today. So I was well aware of the fact that the Turkic world and the Turkic region have many friends and the supporters in Brussels. I am pleased to experience it now personally as well. The OTS region has a population of about more than 160 million people, and this is number will likely increase within next uh, 50 years and reach more than 200 million. We uh, represent 3% of the world economy, expect to reach at least 5% within 20, next 20, 30 years. But uh, others, uh, some details is already mentioned underlined by Ambassador Kaimakchi. The Turkic world faces a prosperous future. The strength of our cooperation lies in common history, language, values, and the cultural heritage, as well as our shared goals for the future. We have a significant role as a hub in the comprehensive Eurasian energy supply, and I believe this will be continued to strengthen in the future. As a result of the, uh, not only Russian-Ukraine conflict, but uh, the middle corridor is called, is which is passes through the territories of our member state has emerged as a crucial transit road connecting Europe and the Asia. It's also in this, this is historical Silk Road, is just, uh, is coming. The Turkic state stands prepared to ensure global food and energy security, as well as seamless supply of goods. The OTS has embarked on new paths since 2021, as the Turkic states have finally started a journey of step-by-step -step integration. Within a short span of time, our family has expanded and today for the first time in history, the Turkic state stand united as a single entity. The Turkic world is no longer a theoretic, it has become a resounding reality. This remarkable achievement is a testament to the unwavering will be and the determined stance for our leaders, as well as support we receive from our peoples.
who are participating in the creation of new area of cooperation from the outside to the Balkan uh, mountains, mm -hmm. connecting three seas, Caspian, the Black, and the Mediterranean. What we are doing might be uh, perceived as a dream by many, but it is reality for us. One of our great role models on this path in the European Union. The head of states, all, all our member states are committed to deepen multilateral cooperation. All responsible decision makers in OTS know that we must work together and we break down the dividing walls. We are aware that the only way of having a secure future. The Turkic world needs Europe and the Europe needs an integrated Turkic world more than ever. The EU and the Turkic world may mutually benefit from cooperation in many issues from transportation to energy, from foreign policy to international security. Dear guests, dear colleagues, friends, I kindly encourage you to disseminate the European Union, the commitment of Turkic world and the, the OTS in particular to build constructive dialogue and mutual cooperation with EU. And I will be also in the next address in the